little off to the left. Looks fine. Good day, everybody. Welcome back to every shot of a nine handicappers round today. We are at the mighty Ingraborn Lynx. This course is an absolute beast in terms of length. And what's great about it is it's holding up absolutely beautifully in this, well, terrible, terrible start to the year we're having here in the UK. After last week's torrid time at the Shire, I'm excited to see how we get on today. So let's go find our ball and get on with it. <laughs> bit of a disaster. We're in the bunker to start us off. Now we've got a fair old bit of a tailwind with us today. So I'm hoping that a nine iron can get me out and get me all the way there as well. All right, that's good. We are out and that should hopefully, oh, I thought it was going to make the green, but it's just fallen a little short. So we didn't come up much short, but just a little bit. That's rolling up. Didn't quite give it enough. I think I was a little bit nervous there. We've got about 15 foot for a par here. It'd be great to start off with one, I won't lie. Now stop. All right, bogey's pretty much secure there. All right, a five to start us, we're one over, but I'm feeling pretty good about how that hole shook out. Hole number two is a 390 yard par four and it's SI9. Got an extra camera angle today. All right, wind's straight off the right, so I'm gonna give it quite a bit of space because I don't wanna end up in that pond. Oh, it's gotta come round. Yeah. That's all right, it's in the gap between the gorses. Now, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little bit of a secret. The best part of my week outside of time with my family is literally when I get to upload these videos, whether it be on a Monday or Tuesday. So I just wanna say a big thank you to all of you guys, my day ones that were here with me at the start of the channel. I'm absolutely loving getting to know about you guys, your golf game, what your plans are for the year, where you play and everything like that. So let's keep the conversation going. Get some more comments down in the comment section. Jesus Christ. <laughs> trying to look where the flag is. All right, I know where it is. It's just whether this ball is going to get up quick enough. I'm going to hit a seven iron here. It's taken a clip on the top of the gorse. I don't know if that's going to take too much distance off it though. It's gone line though. Okay, we've got 28 yards here to the flag. We're just off to the side. We came up a little bit short probably because we hit that gorse bush. Release up to the, get on the slope. You know, all things considered, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, we've got about eight foot for our par here. Oh, burnt the edge. Disaster. All right, that's gonna be another bogey. It's not the worst start. I'm pretty happy with how we're playing. The strikes on the, the clubs are feeling good. Just need to dial it in a little bit. Now, big shout out to Ingraborn Lynx for having me today. It's really cool because it's kind of like an inland Lynx course. With all Lynx courses, it drains really well, which is just fantastic because during the winter, when the weather is wet and horrible, it's still playable. Hole three is a 480 yard par five and it's SI 13. Par five, all downwind. So hopefully we can take advantage of that. Get Maybe, maybe get there in two. Well, I've absolutely smashed that one. Couldn't be any happier. Oh my God, it's running like it's summer. Although it's about 200 into this pin, I've got a six iron in hand because we're directly downwind. So I think it's playing more like 180. That could be very good. There is a bunker at the front that I'm hoping to avoid. And we haven't voided it. Wow. We are putting, I believe guys, for an eagle. All right, well, maybe we're not putting for eagle because we've run through the back of the green. Which, if you're wondering, means that this six iron has gone 210 yards. <laughs> so, uh, not ideal. Slow down now. Yeah, it checked up nice. Wasn't the best strike. We've now got one that's going to break off the right. It's about seven, eight foot for birdie. Ah, I didn't turn as much as I think. Still trying to get the read of the greens, guys. That is a five, so that means that we are now still two over through three holes, which is not bad. Okay, so hole number four is a 404 yard par four. It's the third hardest in the course. We're kind of into wind now, so that's gonna make this more difficult. Nothing to do but hit driver on this one. All right, want this to go up the right hand side of the fairway here. I'm hoping that's going to turn a little bit, but it hasn't. Pretty sure it's safe. 
got about 200 in here. Going to take six iron again. Just make sure we get it there, really. Off a little bit of a downslope, so I want to give it a little bit of a chance to get airborne, to be honest. Well, that did not get airborne, but it is running. All right, we've got 95 to the pin. I don't really want to fly it with a full wedge up into the wind when it's blowing so hard, so I'm going to chip a pitching wedge down there. It's coming around nicely. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. I wish the blooming drone hadn't run out of battery so I could have shown you that one. Look at that. Oh, oh. Oh, I love Lynx Golf. I flipping love it. I think if I didn't live inland, I would literally just play Lynx Golf every single day of the week. Let me know what your favourite type is down in the comments. Are you Parkland? Are you Lynx? I'm going to be dreaming about that pitching wedge shot when I go to bed tonight. All right, we're two over. We're on to a 431 yard par four. It's SI1. It's another long hole. Imagine my surprise. Probably up there with the hardest holes because it is straight into wind probably most of the time. So this is going to be a very, very long hole. Oh, I've absolutely munched it, but it's drifting left. Stay out the bunkers. We're in between the bunkers. That's a bit lucky there. Front edge of the green is 200 yards away. Um, playing more like 230, so it's every bit of a three wood to get to the front. Also, because it's beneath my feet, it's going to squirt out right, so I'm going to have to be very dangerous and take this kind of over the top of the uh, gorse bushes on the left. Oh, that is turned left. We might be in serious bother there, guys. The rain has once again returned to the channel, although it's once again stopped, which is strange. We're lucky because there was a massive bunker just there. It was absolutely enormous that we've managed to just skip past. We've got about 60 to the pin. We're not sitting particularly nicely on this fly. Just gonna try and get that toe digging down, get that ball moving. That is so good. That's gonna be right on it. Sit. Oh, hello. Another chance to save par. We actually almost nicked that one out too clean because now we've got a slidey downhill putt rather than being putting uphill. Uh, but that's all right. It's a good shot. Got about 12 foot here. Turn then. Oh, I was lucky I didn't hit the flag. <laughs> by, a, by a millimetre. That would have been a dirty penalty to get. All right, there we go. We make it off the hardest hole on the course with a bogey. It's not too bad, to be honest. I'll take that at the start of the hole. This course actually has a hard start to it. So we're three over through five. However, we're actually ahead of our handicap by one stroke. All right, we're on to the 11th hardest on the course. It's a 381 yard par four. There are a couple of big bunkers that we need to avoid. They're 250 to cover. However, with this downwind, we might actually just carry them, which is crazy to say. I can't see it, where's it gone? That is not the greatest of strikes. Oh, it's hit something and gone right. Oh, I guess we'll go find out what's down there. So I actually had to take a provisional ball because the first ball I hit, I didn't have any idea where it had gone, like literally zero. So I took the provisional. The provisional ball was actually stuck in between these sleepers in this bunker. Thankfully, I don't have to hit out of that because I have found my first ball which is here just unbelievably, almost in exactly the same spot. I don't really have an angle to show you guys because there's nowhere I can put the GoPro. So uh, we're jerry rigging this one. 126 to the pin, downwind though. So I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. Caught that pretty well. Go on wind, give it the push it needs. I think it's maybe just on the front edge. I wish the camera could do it justice. This green is ridiculous. Right, we've got 40 foot to the pin. I think I want to hit it like it's probably about 25 because it's just going to be an absolute racer. Right now I've got to hope gravity does its thing. No! Go! I was too scared of it. Oh! We narrowly avoid our first three part of the day. Happy, happy, happy. Oh my God, the wind is ridiculous. Right, we're straight into a headwind here. We have got a 382 yard par four, it's SI7. We've got a bunker that's only 200 yards away, but I don't think I could even carry it with driver into this wind. So I'm gonna hit a three wood low and just try and keep it right of it. Let me just take the uh, mic filter off so you can hear the camera. 
Oh no. I think we've actually carried all of those bushes, but that's not a good spot. I have got a family trip to Spain coming up. I could grab some rental clubs while I'm out there and go and film around. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments section. We're going three wood, three wood here, guys. Straight blind shot over this big bunker in front of me. That could work. Oh, it's turning left. Well, left! I think I'm okay. I I'm not sure. There's a bit of space up there. We're really good, just off the side of the green. We won't be able to get up and down from there. Coming off a down slope here. Low trajectory. Probably gonna land it just in the fringe and let it release out. Oh, that's really good. It's like I drew up in my head. <laughs> it's actually happened for once. Oh, how we've been getting out of some of these holes with pars is just beyond me. We're just scrambling really well, I think, so. Yeah, on to the next. Our first par three of the day is the second easiest on the course. It's 154 yards long. It's got a big ridge that runs through the middle of that green. Right, it's 163 to the back end, playing more like 180. So I've got a six iron in hand. Caught that so well. I've caught that so well. Oh, that is so good. Oh my God. I love Lynx golf. We have got a 24 footer for birdie, which is unbelievable. Uh, we came long. Um, now I can't get too aggressive with this one because if I go too hard, it's gonna get over the top of the slope and start rolling down the ridge. So you've got to be very careful here. Now stop. Not bad. That's what we call a stress-free par. Happy days. Oh, I love that. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm having a ball today. This is so much fun. Hole nine is a 477 yard par five. It's SI15, it dog legs to the left. Last time I was here, I actually carried it over the dog leg, but I think it's playing more like it's 350 to carry that dog leg. So three wood is going to be our weapon of choice here. Just get it in the fairway. Oh God. Well, I mean, it's gone, but it's gone very high, which probably means it's coming backwards at this point. So Marco says we're still 300 away from the pin and into the wind, it's 400 away. So um, I did spend some time at the driving range, basically just hitting three woods because I thought it might be important for today. Not saying that that practice worked after that tee shot, but I knew that I'd be hitting quite a few three woods. All right, we're still gonna have about, <laughs> I think about 300 yards in. It's a three wood again, pin is at the front. Um, we might be able to get there. That's gonna chase up there. I mean, it's not on the green, it's off to the side, but it's up there. 32 yards of the pin. If I let it go short, it's gonna come back to my feet almost. So, um, need to get up there really. That's really good. Roll, 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 roll. Oh, wow. We might make a par. Big 10 footer this one for par. Oh, I never hit it. All right, I think it's a deserved bogey on this hole, to be honest. Yep, we'll take it. Right, we've rounded the turn in four over. Unbelievable, we're flying today. Next up, we have a 347 yard par four. It's SI 16 and it's downwind. We could get so close to the green if we hit a good drive here. Oh, squeezy. Yeah, it's through the gap. We're absolutely fine there. Thought for a second there we bushed it, but we're okay. I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like breaking 80 is potentially on the cards today. And if we could break 80, that'd be great because I'm getting a bit of flack for saying that I'm like a 9, 11, 10 handicap, whatever it is. Now, guys, my index is like 9, but I always quote in the video title what I'm actually playing off based on the course's difficulty. So you guys know that's why it changes week by week. And I don't particularly feel like I'm playing to a nine handicap at the moment, but because the weather's so bad, I can't get out and put any scorecards in. So kind of just stuck and stagnated and I can't really play to it, but maybe today we can. All right, we've got 88 yards to the pin here, playing probably like it's 70 because it's so much downwind. That could be good. Oh my God, it could go long. Sit, use the slope and roll back. Roll back off the slope. It's rolling slowly back off the slope. Okay, we've got about a 30 footer here for birdie. I think I've hit that too hard. Turn in and stop. Stop, 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 stop. No, that's all right. 
and we make a par. Happy days, stay at four over, which ain't too bad. I'm absolutely loving this. Uh, if the wind could just knock it on the head a little bit, that'd be great. Now, some of you might have noticed that I'm using a different putter at the moment from my old blade. I'm not gonna talk about this until I think next week's video. We've got something pretty special coming up. I believe we should have brand new clubs in the bag so it will be interesting to see if i can shoot better than what i've been shooting recently with a brand new set of clubs or whether i'm going to shoot worse uh, i'm just going to take a second while this wind is absolutely ripping through i'm hoping it will die off so i can play this par three in a little bit of peace i'm going to be eating my very tory waitrose salt beef and mustard mayo sandwich with a, a prime now i've been thinking about where do we take the channel eventually do i want to turn it into if we ever had the opportunity to a big like production thing and do like break 75 style videos like Rick Shields does because he is like the golden standard of golf YouTube I think in terms of production or do I just keep it the way it is more like YouTube used to be you know DIY me a camera you guys out on the course having some fun I quite like it how it is to be honest and I'm glad that a lot of you are enjoying it too bang him absolutely bang him the Tories do make the best sandwich don't they if you look over my shoulder that way where the wind turbines are you can actually see into Canary Wharf. I said the other week that the orange flavour is my favourite one of these. It's been replaced. Lemon lime is just so good. Next up, we have 168 yard par three. It's SI 10 straight into win. This is going to be a challenging one. I can't believe I'm about to do this. I'm about to hit a five iron into a pin that's 155 yards away. Probably a good job I did because I fatted it. Might actually work out. I think that's on. I think that could be really good. It was a terrible strike, but we'll take it. We got 18 foot for birdie. I can't believe it. We hit a five iron short. It's got about 140 yards. That's so funny. Ah, uh, it did break. I did wonder if it was breaking off this hill, but it is what it is. There we go. Nice three on a difficult par three. We'll take it. Next up, we have the fourth hardest hole on the course. It's a 434 yard par four. It dog legs to the right. Gonna take it kind of over the edge of the bushes and uh, we should find the fairway. This downward is gonna do absolute wonders here. That is so well hit, holy smokes. That is exactly where I wanted to hit it as well. Oh, what a shot. We now have like 180 yards into this pin. And I'm thinking about hitting an eight iron because we're so downwind. Oh, that is not gonna work. There are bunkers up there. Maybe we can avoid them. I keep on saying to people in the comments, we've all got them in our locker. I mean, Tiger Woods shanked one a couple weeks ago. So, I mean, he's much better than me. 62 yards in. That's really good. Oh, what is that kick? No! It literally landed and just like bounced straight left. It must have hit a down slope because it's gone miles as well. I'm thinking I'm going to putt this. We've got 27 foot to the pin. Wouldn't say this fringe is particularly short though. Go, 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 go. Oh, that is, that is better than any chip I would have done from there. That's for sure. There we go. It's a single bogey. Could have been a lot worse there. The whole 13 is a 385 yard par four, it's SI6. We are downwind on it, but it is quite tight. It's coming around. Should be absolutely perfect there. Got 110 yards to the pin, playing more like 100. That is uh, incredibly fat. Oh, that's so sad. Got about 45 yards in now. Oh, that run out. Oh, yes. All right, nine foot for par here. I think it's just coming slightly off the right. Oh, it did. I think I might have just given it a little bit of toe, but that's a bogey. See, we're limiting ourselves to just bogeys today rather than doubles and triples. Next up, a par three. It's 166 yards. Wind's blowing from right to left. It's SI 12. I'm going to say it's about 156 yards, playing about 165. So I've got six iron in hand again. Oh, that is uh, turning left. I don't mind it. 
Uh, is that long? Is that short? I can't tell. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have seen yet, but I am doing a short series at the moment where I'm playing my home course and I have to par every single hole on the course. So every day I play one hole. If I bogey the hole or worse, I have to go back to the tee box and play the hole again. But if I make par or better, then we move on to the next one. So if you want to go check that out, you can check it out on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, I've got it all. And also, if you guys want to get a round in with me over the summer, then make sure you DM me on one of those platforms. Oh, that might go in. Oh no, and now it hasn't gone in and now it's run a mile past. No, I thought I had it. It's a three putt, no. Oh well, it is what it is. Our scores creaked up to seven over after that. And now we've got this. An into wind 599 yard par five. Now I was planning today to play off the blacks, which are right at the back, which would have made this course over 7,000 yards. And by far the longest course I've ever played, but unfortunately they're not set out because we're still in winter mode. But this course is still no joke. It's still a blooming long one. I won't lie, even off the white tee boxes. We are going to need three very good hits to get down this 599 yard par five. It's SI2. And up the left, we have played it indeed. Not the best hit we'll ever have, but hopefully we get a good lie out there. All right, I'm not even going to check how far we've got, guys. Um, just going to hit this one straight up there. That'll do. After two good hits, we're still not in range. Like, we've got a long way to go. I'm just going to hit three wood again. Just get it up there as far as possible. This is definitely a four shot par five into this wind. Holy smokes. Oh, that is not very good. Get lucky. All right, it's up there far enough that we won't have an issue. All right, we've got a blind shot here. I'm trying to see where the pin is. It's kind of straight over this yellow thing in front of me. It's a blind shot there. I've got a nine iron. Wow, that has gone so high. It might be coming backwards. Oh, I mean, I don't know. We'll see when we get over there, guys. <laughs> Look at the flag, guys. It's almost bending off. Right, we've got a 27 footer up the hill. <laughs> Four unbelievably a par. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what is going on? That is outrageous. How have we made par on what has got to be a hole that's playing the best part of 750 yards? That is wild. 386 yard par four and it's SI8. Right, I really want to launch this one because this wind is blowing madness. I know it's been blowing a madness all day, but this is like something else. It's really, really strong right now. Oh, I've absolutely piped it. Turn left. Left a little bit. That is bouncing, it's bouncing, it's fine. All right, the pin is 81 yards away. Oh, I've, ba I've basically shanked it. Mm. All right, that's not great. Uh, up and down required. Right, need to lean on that good short game now. Uh, not like that. <laughs> we do have a putt at it. No, that is dreadful. Oh, it's in, thank God. I thought I'd miss for a second there. <laughs> So we're eight over, I've just checked the scorecard. It is a par 72, so we do need a birdie and a par coming in. One of those is a par five and one is a par three. So let's see if we can do it. All right, this is a short par three, 120 yards long. It's not playing short though, because it's straight into the wind. It's SI 18, let's see what we can do. I'm about to hit an eight iron to something that's 110 yards away. <laughs> this is mad. Probably a good job I have because I've not hit that particularly well. No, 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 sit there. Don't roll off the side of the green. Oh, it rolled off. Oh no. I am going to chip this one just because there's so much uphill. It's going to make it difficult. I can take all that out just by chipping it up. Now stop. I think I made the right decision there. Very nice. All right, as a par, we're going into the last eight over. Can we make birdie somehow on this interwind par five? 
Last time I was here, check this footage out, I was literally about half a foot away from making an albatross. I have a funny feeling that we won't be getting there in two today, that's for sure. Oh, I got a hold of that one, feels pretty good. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's gone very far though. All right, it's another three word, guys. Oh, actually, I can't hit that. Can I hit that? No, I'm gonna to top it. That's worrying, because we're gonna need some loft. I'm gonna to have to hit a seven to get it out. Which is gonna leave us a long approach in, I won't lie, but at least we'll have an approach rather than topping it. Yeah, I'll do. All right, guys, let's do our recap of how we think the round's gone today. I am very happy with my performance, but we're gonna put this into four categories and I want you to rate me because then I'll know you've got all the way to the end of the video and you'll know about this. So we're gonna do this every single week. So I want you to rate me on how you think my driving's gone, how you think my iron play and fairway woods have gone. I want short game, so chipping and pitching, and then I want putting. So give me a score out of 10 in each of those categories. I'll give myself, for me, I've got to do it on the basis of me, like compared to a tour pro, we're still like one out of 10 on every single one. But I'm gonna give myself like eight out of 10 with driver. I'm gonna give myself about five out of 10 for irons and fairway woods. Although the par threes have been pretty good. Chipping, I'm gonna give myself a pretty good nine and then putting, I'm gonna say seven. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Let's go finish this off and see if we can make that birdie. All right, we've got about 180 in. I got a hybrid, because it's playing like 210. Oh my God, that has gone so left. It's alive, but fuck, what is going on? Oh, it's so bad. I'm gonna have to chop this one, but I need it to go like 60 yards. Can I, I'm gonna have to go like that, hinge and just like chop, I think. We did one of these earlier and it worked out quite well, so. It's out. I don't think we're putting though. If we can get up and down here, guys, we're gonna go double bogey free through this round, which is something I don't think I've done before ever. So that would be a first for me. Run up. Oh, it's just slightly offline. It's gonna be such a horrible putt. All right, last time I was here, I missed a big putt for Eagle. So I think I'm due. Uh, we got a 12 footer for the bogey. Just breaking hard off the uh, right hand side, your left. Oh my God. Why have I done that? We make it. There you go, guys. We go 10 over today. Literally just one over our handicap so we can silence the haters in the comments. No, I'm joking. I don't care. You can keep on hating. It's good interactions. If you want to see another video from me, well, then just click right here.